What's up ladies and gentlemen? Now, this video is going to be explaining uh, something which I get asked a lot, which is, is lucid dreaming actually real? Okay, uh, I'm going to be explaining a little bit about the, um, the science behind it, um, and just explaining generally why lots of people don't think it is real, uh, but why this also doesn't really matter. Okay, because when you think about it, it's one of those things that you, you, you find it hard to believe unless you've actually done it. Um, so it's very much a subjective experience. Okay, it's not like you can say um, that every single lucid dream is the same. Generally speaking, everyone will have a different experience of lucid dreaming. Uh, so there's not really like a clear-cut answer for that. And for that reason, lots of people don't really believe that it's real. They um, dismiss it as some sort of nonsense uh, before even trying it most of the time. Despite the fact that there is actually now scientific evidence to support the fact that it is real, and that it has been done. It can be replicated in a controlled environment, in a, in a lab, for example, in a sleep lab. Um, and it's very much something that is real. Uh, the, the reason, I guess, that lots of people, especially in the Western world, um, don't really believe as much in it uh, is because it's not really something that we as a society in the Western world cultivate. It's not something we encourage usually. Whereas if you go into different cultures and different places, different countries in the world, you'll find that they have much more of a, an understanding and accepting attitude towards this sort of thing. They're much more open-minded about this sort of thing. Uh, and it's something that's changing. I think that, you know, in the next few years, certainly in the next decade or so, um, all around the world, it will become something that's as normal as going to sleep or as normal as making breakfast. Um, but for the moment, there are lots of people, especially in the Western world, which don't, who, who don't believe that it's real. Uh, and it's very difficult sometimes to convince these people that it is real, because if they've never done it and they can they haven't seen it, they can never really um, they can't exactly watch a video of someone lucid dreaming because they'll just see someone sleeping. There won't be any concrete way of showing them without actually teaching them, convincing them that it's real enough that they should give it a go and try and learn how to do it. So it's one of those things. Uh, you know, it's one of those those things. If you have friends that are bit skeptical of lucid dreaming, you'll probably find it very difficult to convince them uh, that it's real and that it's worth even bothering to learn how to do lucid dreaming. Um, but yeah, so going back to my, the, the science behind it, okay, is that everyone sleeps every night, of course, unless you're like sleep deprived or have some sort of uh, sleep condition like insomnia. Uh, usually you'll sleep for about eight hours. You'll have about three to five sleep cycles of 90 minutes. And in those sleep cycles, you'll have what's known as REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement. And during this period of sleep, the body temperature is lower. Okay, your eyes will dart around rapidly behind your eyelids, um, and you will dream. Okay, now everyone dreams every night. I've said this before, but not everyone has a lucid dream, and that's because most people don't practice it or they don't believe it. That's another story entirely. Okay, but a study was done. Okay, in which experienced lucid dreamers were asked to go to sleep with sort of ECG tracking and there was uh, some special sort of scientific equipment which could r register their eye movements behind their eyelids while they were asleep. And what they did is they arranged to uh, move their eyes in the lucid dream in a particular uh, pattern. Okay, so before they went to sleep, they said to these scientists, okay, I'll, I'll try and find the link and put it in the description of the actual study. Uh, but I'm just trying to explain sort of roughly what happened. Um, so they agreed with the scientists that they would move their eyes in a particular um, rhythm. So maybe they'd say, right, you're going to look to the left, then to the right, and then up, and then down, and then up again, for example. Okay. And this is something that they would go into the lucid dream knowing that they were going to do that. And obviously the experienced lucid dreamers would enter the dream, they would ground themselves, stabilize the dream, and then they would do those movements with their eyes or with their heads, because in a lucid dream, it's sometimes difficult to move your eyes specifically, uh, so they would move their entire heads or bodies in that direction with the understanding that it would actually move their real life eyes as they were laying there in the sleep lab in that direction. Okay, And the idea was that the scientists could then track these movements, they'd be able to see that the people were asleep and therefore prove that they were lucid dreaming because if they were having just a normal dream, it's very unlikely that they would move their eyes in the exact uh, order that they had agreed with the scientists beforehand unless they were conscious and able to control their decisions in the dream, hence lucid dreaming. So, you know, and that's just one of many studies that have been done to prove this sort of thing. Um, 
But I guess the the real the, the best way of proving to someone that lucid dreaming is real is actually, well, firstly, convincing them and showing them the massive online communities. Um, my subscribers, for example, there are many, many YouTube channels like this one. Um, you've got Giz Edwards, you've got Rhys Jones, although he hasn't posted in a while. Lots of people have uh, these big followings of people that know how to lucid dream and actually do it regularly. Um, so if you're having someone that's a bit sceptical about, about the whole thing, you can sort of say, well, there's thousands of people that are doing it. They wouldn't all be just making it up. I mean, why would they? Um, it's been scientifically proven. And it's, well, I think at least it's definitely worth learning how to do it. Uh, it can definitely improve your life and it can it can help you do many more things other than just flying around like a superhero or exploring some alien planet. There's lots of stuff you can do with it. And I'll go into that in lots of other videos. There's lots of information I can share with you guys. Um, but yeah, for any new subscribers, I've had a fairly big um, period of growth recently. So thank you to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying these new videos. I'm going to try and pump one out every day. Um, and obviously, if you have any questions, leave a message, leave a comment. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the video you may have noticed, which was, uh, I think I titled it, How to Induce a Lucid Dream in Nine Seconds. Okay. Now, I'm getting a lot of comments on that video. I'm trying to reply to each one. Uh, but the most common uh, comment is, is people will say, well, how do I turn my alarm off if I'm not allowed to move any muscles? And this is something that I just, uh, in the moment, I just forgot to mention. Uh, so I'm going to answer that for you now. So when you are doing this technique, you are allowed to move in order to turn your alarm off. Okay, so so that's like an exception. You can You can turn your alarm off and then go back to being motionless and laying still. Okay, or option two you could get an alarm that automatically turns off after a set period of time. So you can make the settings so that it turns off after 8 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever the case may be. Uh, and this way you can do the technique. So yeah, I forgot to mention that and obviously the video blew up. I didn't expect it to get that popular so quickly. Uh, and lots of people were asking the same question. Despite I've actually, despite the fact I've actually um, replied to this, this question on several of the comments, but nevertheless, that's the answer. So Hope that helps you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.